That's my dad. And that's me when I was, I think, six years old. So um, I'm a web developer and a web designer. General watching the, the website come alive from just an idea to something that's fully developed. Watching the design come alive, watching the functionality come together and, uh, and just always progressing into something more attractive until it's finally launched into a full on productive website. Mm. Um, so I, I build websites from, from start to finish. So there's many parts that are uh, involved in the process, from gathering information, doing research, planning what the website's going to look like, designing it, developing it, and then putting content into the website to make it a, you know, a, a, um, an interesting website. And Okay, so having my own company is a lot of fun. It's nice to be able to set my own hours. Um, I can choose who I can work, who I want to work with. Um, the uh, I, I choose how many assignments I want to take, and from that, basically decides how much money I make and uh, how much time I put in. And so it's just it's really nice to be able to set my own schedule and and decide how much time I want to put into it. So um, when I uh, got my, uh, my bachelor's degree, my undergraduate degree about uh, 10 years ago or so in marketing, and uh, I feel that's prepared me uh, a lot to become a business owner and to know the ins and outs of running a business. And just by a lot of trial and error, figuring out what works, what doesn't work, has helped me a lot. I would say the most important skills for a web designer and a web developer is knowing how to work with other people. That's, that's most important. If you are going to do the design or the development yourself, having the technical skills is important. So if you're doing design, knowing uh, how to work with some of the various applications where you that you can design illustrations or graphics, uh, like Photoshop or Illustrator, are important to do that. Um, and then for development, knowing how to uh, build a very simple website with... Uh, with HTML and CSS, that's a really good starting point. And a lot of this, a lot of these skills you can learn online. Uh, there's there's so many resources to learn online. There's video tutorials for doing that. And then also there are many colleges that have programs in it where you can learn design and development. So. To have your own business, any, anybody can have their own business. Um, you definitely want to research what are the requirements to to have your own business in the in the county you're living in. But um, to set up your own business is relatively easy. Mm -hmm. To set up your own business in Santa Cruz County, you need to you need to fill out something called a fictitious business statement. And it's really simple. You send in. I think like you send in a little bit of money to the county and you basically have a business. You have a, you have a business name and you can set up a checking account in that business name and, and at that point any service or products you offer and you get money for, um, it goes into your business account and that's, that's your business. The, the top qualifications that I look for. So one is being very dependable, punctual, positive can-do attitude, because sometimes we might have deadlines and things need to happen quickly. So, so having a really good attitude is very important for me and being able to do things on time. Uh, and of course, having the technical skills is, is really important. Uh, 
sometimes I'll look at somebody's education, uh, what, what degree they got in college, or what training they uh, they received. But I'd, I'd say that the foremost important thing for me is looking at uh, at the person applying, looking at what they've done and how successful it is, how attractive it is, if it fits my style of, uh, of what I'm looking for, of the type of websites that I design, the type of graphics that, I, that I'd like to build.